Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create band ratios in ArcGIS Pro. But first, I'm going to give you a little rationale for uh, why we want to use band ratios and which band ratios we might pick. So our goal is to classify, create a classified map of the Crown Point Historic Site. And we have a variety of different uh, user classes, including water, uh, mature forest, uh, grass and rock and a couple others. So we're, we have these user classes. We want to classify the pixels into the user classes. Um, and the main image we're using is a Worldview 2 image with eight multispectral bands. Here they are, one through eight. Uh, each one records light uh, measured in a different wavelength interval. So band one is 400 to 450. Band 2 is 450 to 510, and so on. So they're each recording a light in a different wavelength interval. Um, and so what, what a band ratio is, a band ratio is when we're going to divide um, the image collected in one band, say 3, by the image collected in another band, say 2. And so why might we want to do this? The main reason is that if a scene, uh, well, almost all scenes have bright areas and have shadows. So they have differences in illumination. What that means is that certain pixels may have very, very high values in all of these visible bands because they're brightly illuminated. A pixel in the shadow may have very low values in all of these bands because it's dimly illuminated. So if we're classifying just based on the absolute values of band three or band two, it would be tricky. And let me illustrate this a little bit better, right? The bands, uh, the, the parts of the pixels collected in the shadow would have low values. The pixels collected in the sunlight would have high values. So using absolute radiance values uh, can lead to difficulties in accurate classification. Whereas if we divide one band by the other, we cancel out the brightness or the kind of relative illumination and we get the app kind of the the relative difference in their their spectral reflectance. So that's why we want to use band ratios or other derivatives. In this video, we're going to use uh, six different things. We're going to use a normalized difference water index NDWI, a normalized difference vegetation index NDVI, and we're going to use four band ratios that are somewhat arbitrarily picked. Okay, so first let's look at the normalized difference water index. Uh, basically, this is the reflectance spectra of water here um, uh, with very little turbidity. And we can see that it's high in band three and relatively low in a near infrared band seven. So uh, this index basically takes uh, green band minus near infrared and divides by green band plus near infrared. Um, with our specific image, the Worldview 2, this is going to be B3 minus B7 divided by B3 plus B7. Next one is Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. Uh, this exploits the fact that healthy vegetation is very reflective in the near-infrared and is very absorptive in the red wavelength. So what this one's going to do is take near-infrared minus red divided by near-infrared plus red. Again, with our particular sensor, the Worldview 2, this is going to be B6 minus B5 over B6 plus B5. Okay, so we're going to have those two indices, vegetation and water. And then we're going to pick a few band ratios that I think could be illustrative and uh, give us some leverage on the classification. So this is a spectral reflectance curve that shows a couple carbonates, calcite and dolomite. And it also shows uh, soil down here and green vegetation in this faint dashed line. So here we can compare a few of the different things that we might be seeing in our image. And I'm going to try out uh, band 4 over 1, which I think should be high for the carbonates. So that's this yellow strip divided by this uh, purple strip. 5 over 8, which I think would be high for carbonates and low for soil. So that's this red band divided by this green band, uh, 2 over 7, and 5 over 2. So again, I haven't thought these through in great detail, and 
but they, they'll be decent for our, our practice run here. And a major goal of this lab is for you to experiment with different band ratios and different classification inputs. So with that said, let's go start doing these band ratios. This is uh, in these indices. This is very easy to do in uh, ArcGIS Pro. Again, we're going to be using Raster Calculator. So we'll go to Tools, uh, Raster Calculator. And why don't we first compute the uh, NDWI. So recall that the NDWI is going to be uh, band 3 minus band 7. So that's band 3 minus band 7 divided by band 3 plus band 7. And again, we will save that as an output. And I'll pause while I do that. Okay, so again, I save this in my kind of project folder. And then within that, in the output folder, I called it wv underscore ndwi dot tiff. Let's run this and see how it works. Okay, uh, it seems to have worked fairly well. You can see it's come up and water tends to be quite bright. And other areas that have less water uh, tend to be uh, a bit dark. Notice interestingly that some of the rock surfaces in here, these are carbonate rocks, limestones, they actually came out a bit bright. So uh, as did parking lots. So this is just going to be one input to our classifier. It's not going to solve all of our problems. But indeed, we've created a, a raster that has very high values for water, which should be helpful. Okay, so rather than bore you and have you watch me calculate uh, the next five uh, inputs. I will just pause the video and I'm going to go calculate them. You should do the same. As a reminder, uh, we're going to be doing next the NDVI and then following that we'll be doing band 4 over 1, band 5 over 8, band 2 over 7, and band 5 over 2. Of course you can look back in the video if you want a reminder of those. So I'm going to go ahead and do those additional calculations in Raster Calculator and get the TIFF files loaded into my project. Okay, welcome back. So I just ran all of those and it was actually pretty quick. And we've now got them loaded in the table of contents. So here's my ratio 5 over 2. Here's my ratio 2 over 7. Here's 5 over 8. 4 over 1. Here's my NDVI. Notice that green vegetation tends to be quite bright. And, uh, you know, parking lots and roads tend to be quite low. And then here's my NDDUI. So notice I've got these all named appropriately so I can recall exactly which ratio and which layer it is. So join us in the next video. I'll show you how to reorganize these and then we'll put them into the classifier.